Have our colleagues across the aisle forgotten that the right to a jury trial was as essential a cause of the American Revolution as was representative democracy and the denial of voting rights itself? John Adams said that representative government and trial by jury are the heart and the lungs of liberty. Without them, we have no other fortification against being ridden like horses, fleeced like sheep, worked like cattle, and fed and clothed like swine and hounds. The massive suppression of trial by jury rights um, by British authorities was a critical cause of our revolution. One of the charges that Thomas Jefferson leveled against the British in the Declaration of Independence was, quote, depriving us in many cases of the benefits of trial by jury. Now today we have not a foreign king and government trying to impose a closed star chamber on the American people, but certain large corporations chartered by the states that seek to divest consumers and employees of their sacred trial by jury and due process rights um, by conditioning their employment or their market ag agreements on relegating them to closed door binding arbitration sessions where all of their rights are vanquished and the whole process from start to finish is skewed in favor of the corporations that control and define the proceedings. This le legislation, the FAIR Act, vindicates the most essential rights of the American people. Now, amazingly, the GOP floor leader admits that forcing victims of sexual harassment into compulsory arbitration proceedings is unfair and agrees with us that they should not be forced into compulsory arbitration. She would like us to strip everything else out of the bill and boil it down to that. But if it's not fair for victims of sexual harassment to be forced into forced arbitration, why is it fair for victims of racial harassment or consumer fraud or wrongful termination or any of the other causes of action that she would exclude from the legislation. I'm glad that the gentlelady agrees with us on the importance of not subjecting victims of sexual harassment to closed door star chamber proceedings, but this concession for the majority gives the whole game away. If it's unfair to coerce them, it's unfair to coerce everyone else too. The key to understanding this legislation is that any consumer or employee who wants to enter into binding arbitration with the corporation can do so is perfectly free to do so after a conflict has arisen, but it should not be compelled as a condition of employment or purchase or rental, essentially elevating the power of corporations that have been chartered by the government over the essential constitutional rights of the people. I yield back. Gentlemen from Maryland.